I am going to introduce you to the XP Batia. The XP classifier is supplied with the Batia kit. As you can see here, it is full of gravel. I'm going to sieve in the water, making it easier to classify. Now the gravel is classified, and we can move forward to the next step. The defragmenter is located in the middle of the batia, and it will allow you to efficiently classify the gravel. This way, you're quickly separating the gravel from the clay and the dust. Shake the batia back and forth from left to right, and perform small circular actions. Remember to keep the sand underwater to clean the gravel properly. You can let the defragmenter do the work. It breaks compacted pieces to better wash the material. Now we can start rinsing and turn a little bit. As you can see, the batia's grip is excellent. This is thanks to the honeycomb design on the back. The construction is solid, so no flexing. Focus on the defragmenter and keep classifying your content. It will not allow sand to gather in the center and quickly get the thinner gold particles inside the deep collection cup. The batia is manufactured from a glass fiber composite. Rigid construction, lighter than a steel batia. Blue is the chosen color, as it is opposite to the golden yellow on the color spectrum. So you will be able to spot gold easily and separate it from the rest. Our next step is cleaning. Float some water around your selection by slightly inclining your batia. Start a four or five cycle process, like a little whirlpool that will classify the lightest sand, and then shake back and forth again. Shake it again. And start over. As you can see, there is less and less sand. We're starting to see the heavy minerals deep inside the batia. Well, start over a couple times until you get the hematite, the magnetite. We're now going to work differently with water straight like that. Make sure you start by keeping the batia straight and doing little circles again in order to stretch out your content, even the sand inside the collection cup. We're now making larger circular movements slowing down progressively so the heaviest pieces will drop down, the stones will keep away from the center. Now lean the batia forward without emptying anything. Put your hand below the batia and use your other hand to softly spread the water to the side. Now you can see the stones separating from the sand. If there is gold, you will start to see it because it will resist the soft water movements. This time there is no gold, so I will start the process again. Getting some new water in, straight, some quick circular movements, so all the sand escapes from the center. Now we don't have any gravel disturbing us anymore, so we're able to turn all around the batia like that always having the first 20 centimeters on the edge in order to really eliminate and check out the sand. Then we extract a little of the sand from the center of the batia, and we continue to clean and eliminate. If we see gold particles, we stop. If there is gold, it is trapped deep down the batia. At the end, use your finger to make sure everything that could have been stuck within the center cup is visible. And now, we can see the gold particles glittering. Here they are. 